breaking free from the shadows of your mind I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind Hi, when you're working from a home studio, I bet you can recognize this situation. Sometimes you're working on a track, you have a nice idea for a melody line, would like to record it, but unfortunately you cannot sing. Wouldn't it then be great if you could just quickly record your own voice and still be able to show it to your bandmates, your manager, or whoever is your audience? Well, in that case, Audemy has got you covered. So let's go. Now I've made a couple of videos about and with Audemy AI vocals before and my very first video on Audemy was actually about this very subject Can AI make me sound like a pro singer? Well as it happens Audemy have just released a brand new feature on their vocal platform which can really help to make your vocal sound more pro when converted to an AI vocal and Audemy has given me early access to this feature so I could check it out for you and they are also the kind sponsors of this video, thanks for that now if you haven't seen my first video about Audemy or have never heard about their AI vocal platform, let's have a quick look first at the basics. Because Audemy provides a website with an AI vocal platform that allows you to transform your own vocal recordings or recordings you make as somebody else and convert that recording to an AI vocal so that you basically get the same recording but with another voice and you can select from a large collection of AI vocals that they have by now. Let's have a look. So this is their website and I'm now in the convert vocals section and this allows you to upload a vocal recording over here or you can even live record something and then convert it to any of these AI vocals. As you can see, you can filter on the AI vocals, style, male, female, and they have quite a number of them. And at the bottom you can see that you can even convert your recording to an instrument sound. But let's focus on the vocals for now. Let's have a listen to some of these vocals. Oh, yeah. Been living this life so yeah so as you can hear a great collection of different voices now if you want to use one of these voices you first need to upload a vocal sample. Let's try this one. This is a recording that I recently had made by a singer from Fiverr. Let's have a listen. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. And let's choose for example Nicole to convert this to. Now there's various settings that you can do over here. You can pitch it so that you can move the whole part to another key. You can determine how much of the original characteristics the conversion should retain. And if you don't have a clean recording, you can also do all kinds of filtering to remove backgrounds. But we have a pretty clean recording, so let's convert. And this is Nicole seeing that same part. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. Sounds great, right? So let's try another voice. Maybe try a male voice, see how that works. Again, let's convert. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. Well, he gets up there, but it sounds a bit high for his voice. So in that case, you can pitch it down a bit. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. Yeah, that's a bit more in this range, but you can choose any of these vocals and convert your input vocal to that voice to make it sound different for whatever reason that you have. And of course, in this video, I will focus on the reason that you don't like your own vocal recording and see what we can turn it into. But you could also just use it on a more professional recording like I have here and use it, for example, for background vocals, which I have another video about, which I'll link in the description below. Now I'm not going to focus on all the details on their platform, but there's also the possibility to isolate vocals from a stereo recording over here. Every Friday they release a new set of cover acapellas and you can use them for your tracks. You can build up your own library of your conversions. You can also create your own AI voice model with just 10 to 15 minutes of recording. And I actually have a separate video about that as well, which I'll link in the description. And you can also mix some of their AI voices so that you sort of get an AI vocal, which is a combination of two of their voices. 
So you can basically get an AI vocal, which is more unique in case you're worried about the fact that your AI vocal will show up in lots of other people's songs as well. Now, as for their plans and pricing, you see that there's a free tier here where you have 15 minutes of conversions for you to just try it out. So by all means, go ahead and use these 15 minutes, I would say. Then there's a starter plan with one hour of conversions a month, pro plan with 10 hours of conversions a month, and an ultimate plan with unlimited conversions per month. And all paid plans allow you to use these AI vocals commercially, and they provide access to all of their voice models. Now, before I go into the new feature, which can really help you to fine tune your own vocals before converting them to an AI voice. If you like this video or find it useful at all, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so that it gets shown to more people. Subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish another video. I also have many affiliate links in the description below and one of them is for order me. So if you want to sign up for order me, please do it after clicking my affiliate link. Then I'll get a commission without any additional cost to you, which is highly appreciated. But let's now get to the new feature, which can make your vocal recording sound more professional when converting it to an AI vocal. Because the new feature I've been teasing you with is actually the ability to tune your vocal before converting it to an AI vocal. And you can of course use this for correcting your pitch, which was really necessary for my vocal, for example. But even if you have recorded somebody who can actually sing, you can use it to create harmonies or adjust melody lines. Now you may think, but hang on, I already have pitch correction software, so I will just tune my vocal before putting it into the Audemy website. And I actually asked Audemy about this, what's the benefit of using this pitch correction instead of my standard pitch correction software? And they basically told me that it reduces any pitch correction artifacts in their generated AI vocal. They were already advising not to do a lot of pitch correction on the input vocal that you're using. But if you do this on their platform, they basically know how to pitch correct the generated AI vocal already, and they can do a more perfect job. So let's have a look. So this time I will input my vocal of that little clip that you heard in the beginning. Let's have a listen to it. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. Yeah, I'm definitely not a professional singer and it could do with some tuning there. So if you click the edit pitch button, you can see all the pitches over here and you kind of need to zoom in to do any editing. Now you can also see the pitch curves of the single notes. You can also zoom in on the piano roll by using the scroll wheel of the mouse here. But you can also use these controls to determine the zoom range. And you can of course also move the zoom range left and right. Now there are two controls here on top which allow you to work on all the notes at the same time to control the vibrato for example. You can see the pitch lines really straighten if you use that. And you can put the pitches more or less on the grid. And if you set the key before doing that, and I know this example is an F major, then the notes of F major will be used to move everything to. Let's have a listen. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. Now, obviously, you can hear artifacts now, probably more than you would get from your regular pitch correction software. But as you can see, when I play back without sound, you can see that this is preview quality and you need to actually do the AI vocal conversion to get the full quality of the pitch correction. So this is just for you to be able to hear to what pitch the notes are moved, but it's not the final quality that you're getting on your AI vocal. For more detailed editing, you can use the different editing modes here at the bottom. You can move single notes like this. When you have pitch selected, you can drift notes like this. You can work on the vibrato of a single note and you can use point editing which lets you transition in a different way between notes. Now you can also click on the note to split it up in multiple notes and you can click that split point again to glue them together again. Now you also have undo and redo of course. You can also snap all notes to a certain pitch by double clicking in the piano roll over here which moves all the notes increasingly to the same pitch, which could be handy when you're creating harmony vocals, for example. Now, if you push control and drag, you can select a certain set of notes, but I have to say, well, this is an early access version that was not quite working as you would expect at the moment, but I'm sure they'll get that fixed before the final release. You can reset all your edits with the button on top here. There's a help menu for an overview of all the actions that you can do. And when you're done with your pitch edit, you can click done. And if you then convert, you will get the full quality of your pitch edits in the AI vocal. 
Now I've done some tuning on my voice, mostly with the controls for the whole range of notes. I adjusted them all to be more closely to the notes of the F major key, and I've reduced some vibrato. And this is the end result. Again, you have to kind of listen through the preview artifacts. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. And I also adjust some individual notes. Let's call this done. And if I now convert and I feel Travis was kind of a good match for my voice. So let's convert to his vocal. Push convert. And let's listen to his voice. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries. I'm soaring high where the truth lies. Yeah, as you can hear, those pitch shifting artifacts are mostly gone now, which is good news. And I like this particular AI vocal model because it makes my voice sound a bit more raw, which kind of fits the song that I want to use it in. So let's put this in the full project. And this is a raw mix, so it has some processing on the instrument and the vocals already, but definitely not a finished result. But let's first listen to my raw voice in this. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries. I'm sorry. And let's now listen to Travis. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your mind. Finding my peace, leaving the chaos behind. No more whispers, no more silent cries. I'm soaring high where the truth lies. Yeah, much better, right? At least I would feel much better to present this to my band or clients to pitch this song. Now I also replaced my vocal by a female vocal called Nicole and pitched up a whole octave. It was a bit of an experiment, but let's listen to what she brings. I'm breaking free from the shadows of your Yeah, so not as good as Travis, but as you can see, it's quite doable. A whole octave up, it's still a bit high for her, I think. And the second part could actually use some more tuning, I feel. But you definitely don't hear as many artifacts as when I had pitched up my own vocal a whole octave. Much, much better. Now this part of the video I'm recording a couple of days later, which you may see from the slightly heavier beard, but I was playing with the Audemy pitch tuning early access a bit more, and I discovered how well the AI vocal generation actually takes to significantly altering the pitch of your input vocal. Let's have a quick look. For example, if I input that female vocal sample again that I used in the beginning, just as a reminder. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. And now edit the pitch and completely change it. For example, take everything up to G5 here. There's a couple ones that didn't go. Let's bring those up to G5 as well. And let's convert it to Nicole. And let's take a listen. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. So that really sounds very natural to me, even leaving some of the little inflections in there where she kind of drifts from the pitch. So I realized how powerful this actually is for creating harmony vocals or completely altering the vocal line. Just wanted to throw it out there. Back to the normal video. So what do you think? Is this something that you could use in practice? Maybe in your home studio when you've put down a quick vocal recording yourself and you want to improve the sound before presenting it to somebody? Or maybe for harmony vocals or changing a melody line? I think it's very useful for all of that. Now by all means, I always say that, try it out for free so that you can be sure that it matches your use case and that it's actually useful to you. Now I also have a video in which I create a custom AI voice model from a sample library. And that was quite amazing because in the sample library you of course have a limited set of lines that the voice can sing. But if you create an Audemy voice model of that, you can make that vocal sing anything you like. Check it out over here, enjoy and see you soon.